hands behind his back, hood over his head, shackles over his legs, strap over his legs, guns pointed towards us, knives pointed out. That's how we prayed in American custody. Do you consider that you will enter Jannah and you will not be tested in the way that those people who came before you were tested? They were tested with hardships and difficulties uh, until the earth, until the earth under, under their feet of the Prophet and those who believed with him shook and they said, Oh, when will the help of Allah come? And he replies that the help of Allah is close. When I was held by the Americans and taken into custody, the first place they took us into was not actually a prison. They took us onto an airplane. They'd stripped the brothers naked. They'd sliced off their clothes with a knife. They shaved our beards till I saw brothers who'd had beards, uh, older brothers, white beards, crying like babies. Not because they'd been punched or kicked, some of these brothers had lost their legs fighting against the Soviet Union. They weren't afraid of a physical damage, but it was the pain they felt for their religious identity being she sheared off like a sheep. And in the midst of this, after this, they took us onto this airplane, forced us into this bowing position, into the ruku position, forced soldiers, huge, big, giant soldiers, American soldiers, armed with M16s and, and Glock, uh, pistols, arm behind the back, one here, one here, pushed into the, into the bowing position, chains on our legs, chains on our hands, hoods on our heads, dragged onto this aircraft, designed through shock and awe to terrify us. Dogs barking, guns pointed at us, being rounded, the chamber being rounded. All of this noise, the sound of the engines, the fear, what's going to happen next? They're gonna kill me. Am I gonna see my family again? What about Umama? What about Abdurrahman? What about Nusayb and my little daughters and brother and, and children? Am I gonna see them ever again? Are they now just a, a, a memory in my, in my head? And in the midst of all that, I'm seated onto the ground, tied like cargo onto the airplane. And a brother says, Akhi, salamu alaikum. I say, wa alaikum as salam. He said, Hal salayta salat al maghrib. Did you pray salat al maghrib? And I'm thinking, subhanAllah, I'm thinking about life or death, but he's thinking about, what's he thinking about? Inna salata kanat ala al-mu'mineena kitaban mawquta That the salah was prescribed at its fixed times. That's what he's thinking about at a time like this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has protected this deen, this ummah, from people like that. And he said, Akhi, we should pray now. Dakhala waqta salah labud an nusalli. And that's how I prayed my first prayer in American custody. With that man next to me, a Libyan, hands behind his back, hood over his head, shackles over his legs, strap over his legs, guns pointed towards us, knives pointed out. That's how we prayed in American custody. And that's the message that Cage wants to give you. That no matter what happens, this deen will be protected with you or without you. Hujjatun lak or hujjatun alayk. جزاكم الله خير سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك